Hey everyone, I'm sure you've all seen the performance that Beyonce did at Super Bowl 50 a few days ago, and I'm about to do something that I never thought I would have to do on this channel. I'm going to defend Beyonce. I know, scary, isn't it? But once you see this clip, you will see why I'm defending her. Just listen. And oh, a side note, pay attention to this bitch's tone throughout the entire video. Welcome back for some final thoughts tonight. First it was hands up, don't shoot. Then it was burning down buildings and looting drug stores all the way to Oscar so white. And now even the Super Bowl halftime show has become a way to politicize and advance the notion that black lives matter more. Okay, first off, this bitch needs to shut the fuck up. The whole Black Lives Matter movement got started because we were saying that Black Lives Matter too, not they matter more. And you know that, but you're just trying to fill an agenda. You're trying to race bait. <laughs> I swear these TV news anchors, they need to really go and sit down somewhere, but this proves my point about what I've been saying about certain types of white women, you can look at this bitch's face and tell that she never liked Beyonce to begin with. But as long as Beyonce was shaking her ass, as long as she was, you know, talking about being a feminist, as long as she was talking about bills, bills, pay my automobiles, all that shit, then they were cool with her because she was non-threatening. But the minute you start coming out showing some pride, celebrating your people, oh no, then we got to get you. Then you're a threat. Oh, we can't have that. She's still got to maintain white supremacy, even though she's really a puppet. But we've still got to make sure she's doing it by controlling her. And they still are controlling Beyonce to a degree because she still came out with that blonde weave. Now... I would argue that if Beyonce really was, like, the militant that they're trying to make her out to be, like, a radical, she would have worn her natural hair. Yep, I said it. She would have worn her natural, God-given hair, not that blonde weave. Now, her dancers, they looked great. You know, I'm not even gonna front. I'm not even gonna lie. And I knew what Beyonce was doing. She was paying homage to the Black Panther Party, the late Huey P. Newton, the late Bobby Seale, the late Malcolm X. I'm not mad at her for that. But I just... My only thing with Beyonce is that I hope she's doing this for the right reasons and not just to pander to the Black community. Because my thing is, are you going to be consistent? Or is this like a one-time deal? But if Beyonce's really smart, she'll come out and give an interview and say publicly that she is a proud black woman and she stands by her performance and what she did. That's what she'll do if she's smart. But if she's the puppet that a lot of us in the black community know she is, she's either not going to say anything or, no, actually, yeah, that's about right. She might not even come out and say anything. But let's listen to more of what this fake blonde bitch has to say because that's not her natural hair color. See the roots. This isn't about equality. This is about ramrodding an aggressive agenda down our throats and using fame and entertainment value to do so. Really? Then how come when so-called Jewish people talk about the Holocaust, it's all right? But the minute we talk about our history, we're horrible people, right? So what are you saying? Black people can't talk about Jim Crow laws. We can't talk about slavery. We can't talk about the Black Panther Party. We can't talk about police brutality. Then, bitch, what the hell can we talk about? What? But see, this is a prime example of why I could never be a feminist because... White feminists do not give a damn about us. The only time they actually kind of sort of give a damn is when we try to run away from them and go back to our own. That's when they get scared and they throw a shit fit. This is why I can't with that shit. I can't.
And I remember a few days ago, my boyfriend even told me, Jess, you know why a lot of women of other races look at your hair and ask you questions? They want to know your secret. They want to know what you do to your hair because they want to try and copy you. And at first I was like, wait, what? But then I, I thought about it and it made sense. But I mean, look at this. Look at this bitch. She can't even hide her racism. She can't even hide her hatred. That's why racist people, they're so easy to pick out. And they don't even know it. They are so easy to, to, to pick out. And a lot of the time, they tell on themselves. Beyonce? Really? What is the political message here? What is it they are trying to convey here? And, and listen to her tone. This bitch is jealous of Beyonce. <laughs> and I'm laughing because... What did Beyonce do to you? Nothing. What did she say that was offensive to you? Nothing. And if you look in the back right here, these are Beyonce's dancers. All of them got their natural hair. But see, that's my issue with Beyonce, though. How come she didn't have hers? But that's beside the point. Listen to more of what this bitch has to say. A group that used violence and intimidation to advance not racial equality, but an overthrow of white domination? Um, okay. This bitch just told on herself. An overthrow of white domination. She just said it. She's afraid of white people losing their power. When in reality, we don't want to take power away from you guys. We just want to have our own stuff. We just want to have our own economics. We just want to have our own communities. That way, we don't have to go running to you for shit. But no, that scares you because you still want black people to be in a position where we have to run to you for shit. That's what it is. The Black Panthers, for those who don't know, were critical of Martin Luther King's non-violent civil rights movement. Uh-uh-uh. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Was Dr. King for non-violence? Yes, he was. But don't sit up here and talk about Dr. King when you know damn well that a, a large portion of white America hated the man when he was alive. Hated him. Even though he did have a stance of non-violence. So what does that prove? Even if you are preaching nonviolence, they still hate your guts if you're speaking to your own people. Even if you are nonviolent. And let's get one thing straight, bitch. You're talking about the Dr. King of 1963. Get it right. Dr. King in 1966, 67, 68 was totally different than the Dr. King you're talking about who was for integration and all that and being as one, and the whole I have a dream thing. Stop it. That's how you know you're dealing with a racist person when they go into, oh, but Dr. King, he said he had a dream. That's not the only speech that Dr. King wrote. Don't you ever, you know, I I'm talking to black people now. Don't you ever find it funny that the only time people make a Dr. King reference is to talk about his peaceful protest his nonviolent movement, oh yeah, and his I have a dream speech. That's all they want to talk about. They have that man stuck in 1963. Now, I bet white people aren't going to listen to Dr. King's speech titled The Other America, where he talks about how America really isn't as equal as people think it is, where he talks about how blacks really have no economic structure and that we need to think about where we put our black dollar. Dr. King even realized that that whole integration shit wasn't going to work in the long run. There's even a quote of him saying, I integrated my people into a burning house. He even realized it. But I mean, whenever white people like her bring up Dr. King... They're being disingenuous, and it shows. They didn't believe in a change to appease. They promoted violence instead. So congratulations, Beyonce. You made your statement. You should be proud of yourself. The Super Bowl, the most watched event on television, a game that brings Americans of every color, background, and political party together. No, you know what it is? White women always want to be on top. They feel like if they're not included, it's a damn slap in the face. And then they want to act like they're the most... 
oppressed people on the planet. Get out of here with that. You're not oppressed, please. For one, little white girls don't look up to Beyonce like what you're saying. Yeah, they might listen to her, but they don't look up to her like that. No, what it is, you're afraid that young black children will end up looking up what the Black Panther Party really stood for. Free breakfast for kids in the community, access to medical care, protection. They actually knew the law. The Black Panther Party was just for their own protection. The Black Panthers just wanted respect. They didn't want to be brutalized by law enforcement. And how did the Black Panther Party end up going away? How? Guess what was planted in our community? Drugs. In order to distract us. A game where black fans cheer next to white fans. A game where teammates work together as one. And stop trying to act like racism doesn't exist. You know what? You know what I wish? I wish that for a whole year, white people had roles reversed. I wish in, for a whole 365 days that they had to go around as black men and black women. And I guarantee it, they would all commit suicide because they wouldn't know how to handle it. It's funny. You can dish it, but you can't take it. Because trust me, we encounter racism every day. Oh, and God forbid if you're in retail... You encounter it maybe five times a day, six even if you're, you know, not even paying attention. Just the other day, I got called a nigger by a homeless person, came into the store, tried to get violent, and he expected me to just be meek about it. I'll tell you I wasn't. I told him to get the hell out. And my co-workers even stood with me, and he was freaked out. So don't act like racism is a thing of the past, because I guarantee you, it isn't. As a black man, as a black woman, black child, when we step out of our house every day, we know what we're going to encounter. We know that we are going to encounter racism in some form, whether it be blatant, subtle, we know it's going to be there. We know we're going to have to deal with it. So don't sit up here and tell me that racism is a thing of the past when you know that's a damn lie. Regardless of race, a celebration of diversity rooted in a common bond. But forget that. A celebration of diversity rooted in a common bond? Uh, no. The Super Bowl is an America pastime to watch football. That's pretty much it. Stop trying to make it into more than what it is. These privileged Hollywood entertainment types are really something. Really? So you're not a privileged Hollywood entertainment type, huh? How much money are you making? Because I guarantee you, you're living comfortably if you're a news anchor. So stop it. I bet you go to Hollywood events, Tommy Lauren. I bet. Beyonce didn't reference the Black Panthers to bring about some kind of positive change. She did it to Okay, bitch. What are you doing to bring about positive change then? If you want to be so critical of Beyonce, what are you doing? Are you calling out racism among your so-called white friends? Are you calling them out when they say the M-word? Are you talking about those girls at that Arizona high school who got together and spelled out the word nigger? Are you? No. So don't talk about what Beyonce is or isn't doing, because clearly you're not doing shit. In fact, you're what white supremacy represents. Tension. Good for you. You made headlines. You just like President Obama, Jada Pickett Smith, Al Sharpton, and so many others just can't let America heal. Oh, really? Let America heal. That's code word for forget about racism. It'll go away if we just don't talk about it. No. Racism is the cancer of America. Why do you think America is such a hated country? Other countries have even said, I've even met people from other countries, and they've even said, America treats blacks like shit. And yet, you know, they have some of you in the army fighting for, for the country. Why? Like, I've even had people tell me that before. And, you know, I couldn't even really get mad at them. You know what I mean? 
there's a reason why we're so hated. Because of people like her. Risking off the historical band-aid. Why be a cultural leader when you can play the victim, right? Play the victim? Oh, you mean play the race card, right? Tell me, wh where is this imaginary race card that you speak of? What, is it in my pocket? Is it in my hair? What, where is it? Is it next to me? Because really, you think we're using the race card to get ahead? Because let me tell you something. We wish to God that there was no racism, that racism was a thing of the past. <sighs> Don't act like you know what we go through. I guarantee you, my mother had to have a talk with me at six years old, six, about racism, about how people might not even like you, not because of your personality, not because of how you, how you dress, no, because of the color of your skin, because of your melanin. So don't tell me that, oh, you're, you're ripping off America's Band-Aid. You won't let America heal. America doesn't want to heal. If America really wanted to heal, they would have left Obama alone. But clearly, that didn't happen. Racism went all the way up the entire eight years the man's been in office. So I don't know what you're talking about. Black men and women every day, they have to have a talk with their sons and daughters about the racism they're inevitably going to encounter being in the world about how people are going to look at them on site and immediately be suspicious so don't sit up here and say that we're just playing victim because we're not that's why i wish to god that you had to go through a whole year of being a black woman i wish maybe then you'd understand say white people like your music too White people buy your songs on iTunes, memorize your lyrics. Yeah, white people buy, buy your music. whoop dee do. Who cares? You know what it is? You're mad that Beyonce didn't seek white approval. That's what it is. You're mad that Beyonce didn't go and ask her handlers, Oh, do, I, I, I want to do this. Do you think I should? No, no. Just do what you've been doing, Beyonce. Just shake your ass and, you know, talk about how bootylicious you are. Don't talk about anything of substance, of value. No, don't do that. Your talent and beauty. Little white girls want to be like you just as little black girls do. But instead of recognizing that, you'd rather perpetuate the great battle of the races. See, they don't want us talking about our plight. It's funny. Every other group on this planet can talk about their plight. But when it gets to us, oh no, you shouldn't say that. Why is that? Could it be that... We know the truth, and they're afraid of the truth coming out? Yeah, I think that's it. Your husband was a drug dealer. For 14 years, he sold crack cocaine. Talk about protecting black neighborhoods. Start at home. Yeah, and who planted the crack cocaine in the neighborhoods? Do your research. Those are my final thoughts. Thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless America. And she got the nerve to bring God into this. Pshh! Some of these people in this country, I tell you, they got the nerve to be racist and then use God in the same sentence. It's so bizarre that it's almost laughable. Almost. But yeah, I, I really, I had to go in on this bitch. But that's all I wanted to say, guys. I can't wait to see the comments. What did you think of the whole Beyonce performance? Do you think she's being genuine or do you think she just did it, you know, because it was Black History Month and she's pandering to us and trying to run back? Or do you think she's being sincere? And as far as this bitch, please tell me you think that this is blatant racism because if you don't, I weep for you. Like, <laughs> seriously, I weep for you. But anyway... More videos coming soon, and I know I haven't been as frequent with the video postings because school started up again, but I will try to make as many videos whenever I have time. Thank you guys for being all my loyal subscribers. Love you guys. More videos to come soon. Have a good night. These people, they're so easy to pick out, and they don't even know it. They are so easy to, to, to pick out. And a lot of the time, they tell on themselves. Beyonce, really? What is the political message here? What is it they are trying to convey here? 
and, and listen to her tone. This bitch is jealous of Beyonce. <laughs> and I'm laughing because what did Beyonce do to you? Nothing. What did she say that was offensive to you? Nothing. And if you look in the back right here, these are Beyonce's dancers. All of them got their natural hair. But see, that's my issue with Beyonce, though. How come she didn't have hers? But that's beside the point. Listen to more of what this bitch has to say. A group that used violence and intimidation to advance not racial equality, but an overthrow of white domination? Um, okay. This bitch just told on herself. An overthrow of white domination. She just said it. She's afraid of white people losing their power. When in reality... We don't want to take power away from you guys. We just want to have our own stuff. We just want to have our own economics. We just want to have our own community. Hey, everyone. I'm sure you've all seen the performance that Beyonce did at Super Bowl 50 a few days ago. And I'm about to do something that I never thought I would have to do on this channel. I'm going to defend Beyonce. I know. Scary, isn't it? But once you see this clip, you will see why I'm defending her. Just listen. And oh, a side note. Pay attention to this bitch's tone throughout the entire video. Welcome back for some final thoughts tonight. First it was hands up, don't shoot. Then it was burning down buildings and looting drug stores all the way to officers so white. And now even the Super Bowl halftime show has become a way to politicize and advance the notion that black lives matter more. Okay, first off, this bitch needs to shut the fuck up. The whole Black Lives Matter movement got started because we were saying that black lives matter too. Not they matter more. And you know that, but you're just trying to fill an agenda. You're trying to race bait. <laughs> I swear these TV news anchors. In the front. I'm not even gonna lie. And I knew what Beyonce was doing. She was paying homage to the Black Panther Party, the late Huey P. Newton, the late Bobby Seal, the late Malcolm X. I'm not mad at her for that, but I just... My only thing with Beyonce is that I hope she's doing this for the right reasons and not just to pander to the black community. Because my thing is, are you going to be consistent or is this like a one-time deal? But if Beyonce's really smart, she'll come out and give an interview and say publicly that she is a proud black woman and she stands by her performance and what she did. That's what she'll do if she's smart. But if she's the puppet that a lot of us in the black community know she is, she's either not going to say anything or, no, actually, yeah, that's about right. She might not even come out and say anything. But let's listen to more of what this fake blonde bitch has to say because that's not her natural hair color. See the roots. agenda down our throats and using fame and entertainment value to do so really then how come when so-called jewish people is they need to really go and sit down somewhere but this proves my point about what i've been saying about certain types of white women you can look at this bitch's face and tell that she never liked beyonce to begin with but as long as Beyonce was shaking her ass, as long as she was, you know, talking about being a feminist, as long as she was talking about bills, bills, pay my automobiles, all that shit, then they were cool with her because she was non-threatening. But the minute you start coming out showing some pride, celebrating your people, oh no, then we got to get you. Then you're a threat. Oh, we can't have that. She's still got to maintain white supremacy. Even though she's really a puppet, but we've still got to make sure she's doing it by controlling her. And they still are controlling Beyonce to a degree because she still came out with that blonde weave. Now, I would argue that if Beyonce really was like the militant that they're trying to make her out to be, like a radical, 
She would have worn her natural hair. Yep, I said it. She would have worn her natural, God-given hair, not that blonde weave. Now, her dancers, they looked great. You know, I'm not even going to talk about the Holocaust. It's all right. But the minute we talk about our history, we're horrible people, right? So what are you saying? Black people can't talk about Jim Crow laws. We can't talk about slavery. We can't talk about the Black Panther Party. We can't talk about police brutality. Then, bitch, what the hell can we talk about? What? But see, this is a prime example of why I could never be a feminist because... White feminists do not give a damn about us. The only time they actually kind of sort of give a damn is when we try to run away from them and go back to our own. That's when they get scared and they throw a shit fit. This is why I can't with that shit. I can't. And I remember a few days ago, my boyfriend even told me, Jess, you know why a lot of women of other races look at your hair and ask you questions? They want to know your secret. They want to know what you do to your hair because they want to try and copy you. And at first I was like, wait, what? But then I, I thought about it and it made sense. But I mean, look at this. Look at this bitch. She can't even hide her racism. She can't even hide her hatred. That's why race.